may begin by finding a quiet, comfortable place. Hopefully a place that you will be able to use over and over again so that you will feel safe and loved as soon as you enter it. And when you settle into that place, take a moment to just breathe in love, breathe in joy, breathe in hope, breathe in optimism. They are out there, all available to you. And notice what it does to your body and your mind to breathe in. And when you breathe out, let go. Let the tension go. Relax the jaw muscles. If your eyes haven't closed, rest your eyelids and let them close. Let the back and neck muscles be loved. They carry a burden. But let the burden roll off your shoulders. Breathe with your chest and your diaphragm. Don't let anything restrict those muscles as they move deeply. And let the movement and the love move down through your body. Move each part, be aware of it, love it, and relax it. Let go of the opposite of what you're reaching for. Let go of the pain. Let go of the sadness. Let go of the despair, the resentment, the hatred. Let go. You can't free yourself from anyone or anything until you allow love, joy, open optimism your life and so take a deep breath and allow yourself to settle down just feel the peace filling your life and your body and how that relaxes you Just settle down. Just watch the color and the feelings move through your body, relaxing the muscles, relieving discomfort. Give an extra measure of love to every part of your body that is having difficulty of one kind or another. You can love yourself well. We are all lovers. We are not killers. And just love yourself until you are filled with love. Make sure that every cell is open to that love. see any problems being breathed out or eliminated in a way that is comfortable for you and take a moment to purify and cleanse your mind and body in a way that feels right for you.
And now we're ready. Ready for a beautiful trip. A trip to a land that is filled with love and creative energy, joy and hope. And you are the creator. You're to create your ideal universe. If you were the creator, what would you put into your corner of the universe? What would you let every flower know? Every blade of grass? Every butterfly, every animal, every bird, every cloud, the sun, the moon, the stars. It's all up to you. There's a giant easel in front of you. Paint your picture. Create your world. You're directing. It's your movie in your mind. Create it and step into your world. Totally safe. Feel the love. This is your Garden of Eden. Feel the joy, the potential, the future. You're directing your universe. There are no limits. And take a moment here to just absorb a feeling that you may never have felt before. Total love, total acceptance, total joy total hope. Here hope is a memory of the future. And this place exists forever as a part of the universe that others experience. And you can always come here because your bridge that you built connects it to the universe and your path. And there's two-way traffic on that bridge. If the universe gets difficult, you may cross to your corner of the universe to restore yourself. And as you cross your bridge, you'll notice beautiful, loving light shining ahead of you on your path. And coming out of that light, a figure will be walking towards you. You may see one, or one may appear in a few moments. And as this figure comes closer, you will know perhaps who it is. And if not, when the figure is close enough, ask the name of the person who appeared and know that this person represents an inner guide for you. Someone who will guide you and help you on your journey. And if no one appeared at this moment, you might turn and notice that the light has created a shadow. And by looking into your shadow, you can be helped too. Often, talking to our dark side is as meaningful and filled with guidance as talking to the light. And now take your guide or your shadow 
and move forward on your path and your journey. Allowing your feelings and their guidance and light to help you make right turns and right decisions and right choices to lead you towards love and hope and joy. And ahead of you, you will notice that your path leads through a tunnel in a mountain. And if you look through the tunnel, you will see a speck of light where it comes out on the other side. And you know that after the darkness, there will always be light. And so move through the tunnel towards the light. Your shadow side may be used to the dark, and your guide may shed some light on your path. Use them to help you through the darkness. And don't forget that we all grow and experience new things, and we learn, and we overcome, and so move through the tunnel towards love and light. And as you move towards the light, you will feel it and sense it and the love and the energy. And when you come out, you'll see all of the people in your life sitting in an open, outdoor amphitheater in front of you. And the stage is yours. There are costumes behind the stage that you may use or you may want to be yourself. But the stage is yours to dance, to sing, to speak, to let the world know what you have to say to it. You can feel the acceptance. You may hear the applause, perhaps tears or laughter when they are appropriate. They are with you. They are loving you. They are enjoying you for what and who you are. And yet you know inside you that you don't require applause to know when you have performed well, when you have given all that is inside of you, when you have participated, you are a winner. That's something that's inside of you that you don't need someone else to tell you about. And when you have completed your performance, take some time to go down into the audience to see how they receive you and what they would like to share with you and you with them. And take a moment now to finish your performance and to share with your audience. When you are done, follow my voice and let it go with you as you and your guide and your shadow find a quiet place alongside the path to discuss what has happened. 
you may want to present them with new questions, new conflicts, new problems that have entered your life that you would like help with so that you may resolve them and free more energy for love and joy. And sit down now with your guide and shadow to discuss whatever you feel needs to be shared. And take this time. They are here for you. say goodbye to your shadow and guide and follow my voice again. But know that they are always available to you in times of distress to guide you and to help you through the darkness by bringing you light or helping you work in the dark. And so continue on your path. Realize how strong you are as you move along your path on your own. And take a moment to enjoy and accept your potential. You have gotten this far. You have survived. You have made it. And with more joy and love and hope in your life, it will become easier, not harder. The path will unfold in front of you. lessons that you learn become a part of you know that your feelings are yours you may choose joy you may choose hope you may choose love you may choose to celebrate your life no one creates your feelings you do Know that whatever question appears, love is the answer. Love heals lives. Know that. If you could love enough, you would be the most powerful individual that you have ever met. There is nothing that enough love cannot conquer. There is nothing that enough love cannot heal. reach out and to work at becoming love creates a very unique and special person and accept and love yourself for what you are attempting. Take a moment to truly look at yourself. What you have chosen 
very few people choose. You are taking the time to love and accept and nurture a beautiful human being. You are taking the time to change the world by changing yourself. You are what life is about. Life is to be experienced. voice. Come back. Come back with the knowledge. The knowledge that very few people are willing to accept. But a knowledge that we all know deep down inside. And so let go. Remember you were born totally lovable. And if there is anything in your life that has led you to question that love, it came from outside of you. And let go. Let go of those messages and accept yourself and love yourself and become one with yourself. And let that self Become aware of your breathing, of the room, of the music, and slowly return filled with love, joy, hope, and optimism when you feel ready to open your eye and begin your journey.